Elon Musk just revealed some major changes about the Tesla Semi. That's right, no more 82,000 pounds, no more 1,500 horsepower, and even the drag coefficient is getting a makeover down to 0.22. But why the big changes? Stick around as we dive deep into the reasons behind this massive upgrade and what it means for the future of trucking and sustainable transport. Tesla's big rig, the Tesla Semi, is getting a makeover. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, recently announced plans to give the truck's cabin a complete redesign. This redesign could change the truck's weight and dimensions, making it lighter and more efficient. But there's a snag. A leaked report suggests that the Tesla Semi is facing supply chain issues at the Jagger Nevada factory. Overcoming these challenges is crucial for the truck's success. Despite these hurdles, Tesla is pushing forward with its plans. Musk announced that the Tesla Semi will also be produced at the Jager Berlin factory in Germany. This move is part of Tesla's commitment to Europe and its efforts to expand its presence there. By manufacturing the Tesla Semi in Europe, Tesla aims to tap into the growing demand for electric trucks in the region. The decision to produce the Tesla Semi in Europe is strategic. With the rise of electric trucks from competitors like Mercedes-Benz and Volvo, Tesla wants to assert its dominance in the market. Moreover, stringent environmental regulations and emissions laws are driving the shift towards electric vehicles. By offering emission-free trucks like the Tesla Semi, Tesla hopes to attract customers looking to reduce their carbon footprint and save on road tolls. Additionally, Tesla plans to produce its $25,000 electric vehicle, known as the Model 2, at the Jager Berlin factory. This move aligns with Tesla's goal of expanding its product lineup and increasing production capacity. While the Tesla Semi may not contribute significantly to Tesla's ambitious target of producing 1 million vehicles per year at Chega Berlin, it adds to the company's diverse portfolio. Expanding the production of the Tesla Semi beyond North America to Europe could accelerate its growth and contribute to Tesla's overall goals. While the Tesla Semi may only make up a small portion of Tesla's vehicle production, it plays a crucial role in the company's mission to revolutionize transportation and reduce carbon emissions. Tesla is gearing up to produce around 20,000 electric semi-trucks per year in Europe, a move that could revolutionize the transportation industry. To power these trucks, Tesla plans to use batteries from CATL, which are cost-effective and efficient. The company is even shipping battery production equipment from Germany to the US, indicating its commitment to this approach. However, building electric semi-trucks for the European market comes with challenges. European regulations dictate strict standards for truck dimensions and weight. Unlike in the US, where trucks can be larger, European trucks must be shorter and lighter. This means Tesla will need to redesign the Tesla Semi to comply with these regulations, potentially altering its aerodynamic design and overall structure. One significant change Tesla may have to make is switching to a cab-over design, which would eliminate the long hoof seen on typical American trucks. This adjustment is necessary to meet European standards while maintaining the Tesla Semi's efficiency. Moreover, European customers demand precise weight requirements, meaning Tesla must ensure the truck's load-bearing capacity is sufficient. This might involve strengthening brakes and adding more metal to the rear of the tractor. Additionally, adapting the Tesla Semi for European roads may require a more robust engine to handle the terrain and long distances. While the current Tesla Semi boasts impressive torque and power output, adjustments may be needed for European operations. Despite these challenges, the timing is right for Tesla to launch a European version of the Semi. With impending changes in EU regulations favoring electric trucks and the increasing focus on reducing CO2 emissions, there's a growing demand for sustainable transportation solutions. However, the success of electric trucks injures on their ability to cover long distances 
without frequent recharging. Tesla must ensure that its semi can match the range and efficiency of diesel trucks to appeal to customers. The Tesla Semi is known for being an economical choice for trucking. One big reason is its lower operating costs compared to diesel trucks. In Europe, where Tesla superchargers charge between 13 to 40 cents per kilowatt hour, the difference in fuel costs between electric and diesel trucks is significant. While diesel prices in Europe average around 59 cents per kilometer, the electricity cost for Tesla Semi comes out to about 26 cents per mile driven. This means Tesla Semi owners can save a lot on fuel costs, making it an attractive option. In the United States, where diesel prices are around $4 per gallon and electric rates average $0.00, and 1,573 cents per kilowatt hour. The savings are similarly substantial. The Tesla Semi's energy consumption of 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile driven translates to significant savings compared to diesel trucks. Elon Musk's announcement of Tesla Semi production in Europe has generated anticipation for the truck's development. While the focus has been on Europe, updates from Jaga Nevada Tesla's first factory have been scarce. However, reports suggest Tesla is building a separate facility at Jaga, Nevada for high-volume semi-production. In the meantime, they're ramping up prototype production to fulfill low-volume deliveries. Henrik Zane, a prominent Tesla semi-advocate, has shared insights into the production progress and reasons for delays. He predicts Tesla will produce and distribute between 500 to 1,000 units before full-scale production begins. The production lines for the semi at Jaga, Nevada run from east to west in a dedicated building with separate lines for assembly. These updates indicate progress towards making the Tesla semi a reality for North American markets. The Tesla semi supply chain relies heavily on parts from suppliers, Tesla assembles crucial components like motors, inverters, pumps, and battery packs in-house, while other parts, like screens and seats, are sourced from suppliers. However, delays in electric truck production have been partly attributed to bottlenecks in the supply chain. Tesla has only ordered small quantities of parts due to uncertainties in the final design and limited production capacity, leading to challenges in securing supplies. Currently, the semi is assembled manually by experienced engineering teams, but there's potential for automation in the production line. Tesla aims to streamline production by introducing additional lines, similar to other models like the Cybertruck and Model Y. However, transitioning from theory to practice poses inevitable complications. While Tesla announced plans to expand production at the Gigafactory Nevada for the semi, construction delays have pushed back timelines. It's unclear when production will commence, raising questions about Tesla's investment in other factories. Despite challenges, Tesla sees opportunities in Europe's electric truck market driven by stringent environmental regulations. However, the Asian market, particularly China, presents significant competition and regulatory hurdles. Tesla's strategy may prioritize Europe's less competitive landscape over Asia's complex market dynamics, at least in the short term. Tesla faces competition from other companies like NIO in North America, but their electric pickup trucks don't match up to Tesla's specifications. Traditional truck manufacturers like Volvo and Daimler aren't really trying to compete in the long-haul road transport sector either. Despite these challenges, when Tesla overcomes production issues and rolls out the semi in large numbers, it could have a huge impact on feats beyond just PepsiCo. PepsiCo, for instance, praises the Tesla semi as an essential part of their transport fleet. Their strategic fleet director, Miss Amanda DeVoe, notes that Tesla semis are used consistently for 12 hours a day, covering routes under 200 kilometers with high-capacity charging stations. Charging only takes 20 to 30 minutes from 5% to 95% battery, and regenerative energy technology helps save fuel costs. 
Mr. Dijon Antonovic, Pepsi's electric vehicle department head, believes that Tesla Simis bring great value to Pepsi's future. With advancements in battery and charging technology, regular routes of diesel trucks could soon transition to environmentally friendly vehicles, signaling a new era for the transportation industry. Large freight trucks, though they make up only 4% of vehicles on the road, contribute significantly to fuel consumption and emissions. Implementing environmentally friendly Tesla rigs could improve the environment and save costs for operating companies. Overall, the future of zero-emission transportation looks promising with innovations like the Tesla Semi. As more companies embrace electric vehicles, the industry could see significant improvements in sustainability and cost-effectiveness. Do you think this is a good move for Tesla? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more electric vehicle news and analysis.